Hello guys, welcome to the very first video tutorial of the ESP.NET Core Blazor c -Sharp tutorial. To get the most out of this course, you need to have basic knowledge in c -Sharp, CSS, and HTML. In this introduction to ASP.NET Core Blazor, we will see what is Blazor, Blazor Web Assembly, Blazor Server Side, setting up the environment. Blazor is a framework that allows us to build interactive applications in C-Shop that will be used mainly through a web browser. Blazor in general embraces a single-page application architecture. Blazor provides two hosting models. First, the Blazor WebAssembly, and second, the Blazor Server. So with Blazor, we can use C-Shop code both in the server-side and the client-side development instead of JavaScript. In the past, if we wanted to create an application that ran in the browser, we were forced to use JavaScript. Now, with the WebAssembly, we can use other programming languages in the browser. With the Blazor WebAssembly, we can run c -sharp code directly in the browser. In fact, we can run any type of code in the browser using the WebAssembly. We can use WebAssembly to execute .NET application in the web browser. Now let's see the advantages of Blazor WebAssembly. First, it is highly scalable. So it is possible to serve many users simultaneously. Second, active connection to the server is not required. Third, it is the client resources and capabilities that are being used. Disadvantages of Blazor WebAssembly. First, Downloading the .NET Runtime and DLLs. So it will need to download the entire .NET Runtime and the libraries needed to run the .NET application in the browser. This could have an impact on the initial loading time of your application. Second, restricted to the capabilities of the browser. Blazor server side. Blazor application runs on the server and interacts with it through a signal or connection. The advantages of the Blazor server side are first, application loads faster. Second, full advantage of server capability. Third, it is more secure. The disadvantages of the Blazor server side. First, high latency. If each user interaction with the application must be handled via the server, then this means that there will be some latency which will make the application feel a bit slow. Second, active connection to the server is required. We will see how to set up the Blazor WebAssembly template in the next video. Stay tuned and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.